What's up guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage, another totally tubular two minute tool time Tuesday. Today we have some awesome tools from Milwaukee Tool right here. What I wanted to show you is what I'm currently using and then the new guy that's over here. Now I have a lot more Milwaukee Tools than this. However, I want to show you my favorites. <laughs> So first off, I'll show you kind of going in order of how my favorite started out, if you will. This first one right here, which is a ratcheting wrench. This is not an impact wrench. I think a lot of people get this confused by, you know, when you put it on here and you hit the button that it's supposed to do, 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 and torque something down. Now this does torque things down. However, it only goes to a certain foot pound rating. This one is rated to 55 foot pounds with the, uh, three eighths head right here. And this thing does amazing. I absolutely love this. It's great. The one that kind of replaced it for me, however, is this guy right here. This is the uh, 2560-20, that's the tool. Uh, the 21 comes with one battery and the dash 22 comes with two batteries. But this thing is absolutely amazing. I know I showed it uh, being used in this car a while back and I absolutely love this because it gets you in too tight places, right? See how I can get like way down in there very easily whereas with this one, you know, not so much. So that's actually like my number one go-to. I have the quarter inch drive one. I don't honestly use the quarter inch a lot. I know some people love the quarter inch drive because the head is so much smaller and by the head, I mean kind of this anvil area, uh, is just so much smaller, you know, than, than one of these ones. But I just don't use a lot of quarter inch sockets that much, and I don't get a lot of use out of this. How can you tell? This one's dirty, that one's dirty, that one's pretty damn clean. Now, this new tool is amazing because my absolute second favorite tool, actually, if not my first favorite, I would say this is my first favorite tool right here, this is my second favorite, the extended reach. This guy is amazing. This is the uh, half inch stubby. This has an anvil on it and this is what they call the lock ring, right? So you get more torque out of it. 250 foot pounds of nut busting torque. This thing is amazing. It has a couple modes on it. It's got like three little modes uh, for fastening and uh, loosening and tightening, that sort of thing. But now, we're gonna get down to the unboxing here. Now I know this has gone longer than two minutes, guys, so sorry about that. I'll move these out of the way. This guy, this is the 2564-22. So that means it's gonna come with two batteries. If it's a 21, like I was saying, it only comes with one battery. And if it's a 20 at the end, that means it's just the tool only. Just so you guys kind of get uh, an idea of how that stuff works. But this is a impact wrench. It is a right angle impact wrench. Again, the difference that I'm talking about with an impact wrench is these bang stuff off, right? 220 foot pounds of nut busting torque, whereas this only goes up to 55 and it doesn't. It just kind of can kick out of your hand. This one is not going to jump out of your hand at all. It's just going to do nice smooth impacts and that sort of thing and be able to bust stuff loose. First off, first impressions. Wow. That is extremely small. I thought this head was going to be so much bigger. Now mind you, it is bigger than the ratcheting wrench, which is this, which does not have any impact drive. You put it on, it goes till it goes, it stops, and then you ratchet the rest of the way, just like a regular ratchet. So there's no need to change tools. This guy, right, we're just gonna impact the stuff off. And man, look, even like the shaft of this, pretty much the same size, very skinny, very nice. Um, that is absolutely awesome. Now, if we also compare the size here, to the stubby, which is my favorite because this thing busts off suspension components. Like, usually I don't have to go any bigger. I do have bigger impacts uh, through Milwaukee and I do use them, but only when necessary. And I almost do everything with this until, you know, I have an issue and I gotta pull out a bigger one. But look at that, dude. Look at that. That is so small. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, let's grab a battery. Two batteries in this kit. This kit comes with the Red Lithium CP 2.0s. These are the uh, newest batteries, CP 2.0s. What's really nice is when you buy all the fuel tools, uh, they almost always are a Dash 22, so you get two batteries with them. 
uh, which I always recommend getting the kit because, well, you just keep getting more batteries and then, you know, you got a spare for everything you got. So, all right, it has a lock. The lock is by putting the uh, forward and reverse in the middle. That's how it locks out. Super easy. Same way as you would see on one of these, right? You would just lock it out right there in the middle. Very cool. All right, so we got that. We got reverse and drive. And then we got our different speeds here. I'll have to read what the different speeds are. One, two, three. And then this uh, this tightening one, I think that like, it kind of sl goes slow if I remember correctly. It has something to do with the, um, yeah, you hear that when I'm backing it off, listen, it's slower. And then just driving it on. And whereas you put it with uh, mode three and reverse, full speed, right? Mode one is zero to 1,550 RPM, right, in forward. Zero to 2,300 RPM in mode number two. And then mode number three here, we're zero to 3,000 RPM, which is very quick. And then with this, this one prevents over tightening. So it has an auto shut off. And then this one uh, in you know, forward is an auto shut off so it doesn't over torque. And then in the reverse mode, that is a bolt removal, more control after your breakaway. So this thing is so freaking cool. All right, let's uh, also guys, it comes with a charger when you get the dash 22 or dash 21 at the end of any Milwaukee part number, you always get a charger and either one or two batteries. One battery if you get a 21 and two batteries if you get a 22. Put it on something and break something loose. Let's say we wanna break this loose. This is 17 millimeter. I'll put it to loosen and I'll just hit the button, right? You see that? It's all it does. And why does it do that? Well, it's reached its 55 foot pound threshold. And now what it wants me to do is go ahead and break the lug nut loose and act like a normal ratchet, right? So again, we could put it to tighten. I know this kind of, well, let's put it on loosen, right? So now it's loose. Woo! See how that kind of ripped out of my hand? That was actually tightened, sorry guys. That was actually tightened, but see how it ripped out of my hand right there? These are pretty good with that, but it can still happen. Now, if I want to loosen it up, it did still loosen it, it had that 55 foot pounds, and I'll have a little more control this time. You know, it does stop, that's 50, Five there, we'll tighten it up a little bit. Okay, now I'll show you the difference here on this guy. Listen to the difference, you can feel it, you can listen to it, all that. So we'll put it in reverse. See how that went super slow? So that was on that uh, that kind of slow mode, that's where it has a lot of control. Now control is cool, but eh, I don't really care about all that control. What I want to do is put it onto mode number three. Whoops. Put it back in. Uh, I'll start this thing out. Put it back in the drive. Okay, that's nice and tight, right? Now, say we want to break it loose. We just put it in reverse. Watch my hand. I'm going to do this super limp. That was like, I barely was holding on to the thing, okay? So it's not going to rip out of your hand because it's doing impacts, right? It's doing little impacts of the wrench. Whereas I can hold this, you know, and it's not it's trying to go, but it's not going to rip my freaking hand off. Uh, and then I can tighten stuff, you know, back down if need be. And again, this goes up to 250 foot pounds of torque. So you don't really want to tighten and just hang on on here because you can actually break stuff. You can break stuff fairly easily with this. That is kind of the difference between ratchets and impact drivers. Uh, for breaking stuff loose, absolutely great for installing stuff maybe you want to go with this because you have a little bit more control it's kind of up to you but man dude this thing is freaking so cool um you guys will see it more in my videos you know up and coming i'll be using this thing a lot so you guys will kind of see it but the idea with this is is that you can get into super tight spots with one hand right like if i had a suspension component i'm getting back here with one hand I'm gonna be able to control this and get in there, you know, where I can get in like, I don't know, tight spots, right? <laughs> you know, if you need to get into a tight spot where this guy, even with the stubby design, has a different profile, right? So if we had this on the front here, overall we have that much length, 
Whereas with this one, we'd have, you know, it's literally smaller than this whole piece. And that's with an extended uh, socket on it. If I put a even smaller socket on it, gosh, we'd be even better off. It's so amazing. These things are absolutely awesome. Now, do they cost a bit of money? Yes, but like I'm saying, these things are worth it. Well, well worth it by the time you spend not having to bust your knuckles up and all that type of stuff. It just speeds up installations so much. I definitely recommend to grab one of these. If you do not have any of these Milwaukee tools, these are the ones to get, guys. These are gonna be the ones to get. I'll just read you off the numbers. 2555, dubby, that thing's rad. 2560-20, extended reach, absolutely amazing. And this is gonna be the next one. It's just gonna be a must. 2564-20, this is gonna be the new like standard. You're gonna see everybody starting to use these. I guarantee it right now, I'm saying that. I'm gonna be using the hell out of that thing. And these are the ones you see me use all the time. Thanks a ton for watching guys. I know everybody always wants to kind of see these review videos and the unboxings and see what's new. So that's new. I'm super stoked to use this thing. Uh, links down below if you guys wanna check it out. I'll link Milwaukee's website if you want more info. Thanks for watching guys. We'll talk to you soon, later, and wrench on.